The Famous in America channel is back and in today's video we are going to honor some amazing personalities, but before that, be sure to subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot to continue bringing you valuable content. Check out today's honorees. Number 1, Ron Cephas Jones. American actor Ron Cephas Jones died due to a long-standing lung condition on August 19, 2023, aged 66. He is best known for his role as William Hill in the drama series This Is Us, 2016-2022, which ended up earning him a Screen Actors Guild Award, along with four consecutive Primetime Emmy Award nominations, winning twice for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series in 2018 and 2020. Jones has also appeared in television series such as Mr. Robot, 2015-2016, The Get Down, 2016-2017, Luke Cage, 2016-2018, and Truth Be Told, 2019-2023, as well as several films, including Half Nelson, 2006, Across the Universe, 2007, Glass Chin, 2014, The Holiday Calendar, 2018, Dog Days, 2018, and Doe Might Is My Name, 2019. In 2022, he was nominated for Best Performance by an Actor in a Play at the 75th Tony Awards for his performance in the Broadway play Clydes. Jones and British-born jazz singer Kim Leslie had a daughter, American stage and screen actress Jasmine Cephas Jones. Number 2, Maxie Bon. Maxie Bon, a former standout linebacker who played for the Philadelphia Eagles, Los Angeles Rams and Washington Redskins during his NFL career, died of natural causes on Saturday, August 19, 2023. He was 85 years old. The Eagles said Bond died in Ithaca, New York, surrounded by family. Bond was a standout player at Georgia Tech before being selected in the second round of the 1960 NFL Draft by the Eagles. He was also drafted by the Oakland Raiders of the AFL, but preferred to play for the Eagles. He played six seasons for the Eagles and helped win the NFL championship in 1960 and played five more seasons for the Rams before joining the Redskins in 1974 for his final season. Bond was inducted into the Georgia Tech Hall of Fame in 1965 and the Eagles Hall of Fame in 2015. Number 3, Carl Krenel. Former National Football League, NFL, and Canadian Football League CFL, linebacker Carl Lee Krenel died on August 19, 2023 at the age of 74. Krenel played for one season with the Pittsburgh Steelers in the NFL and for several different teams in the CFL, most notably the Montreal Alouettes from 1972 to 1979 where he won two Grey Cup championships. He was drafted in the 1970 NFL Draft in West Virginia, where he was captaining the Mountaineers to a 10-1 record in 1969 and a Peach Bowl victory, he was named MVP in the game. In 1998, Krenel became a member of the West Virginia University Sports Hall of Fame. He is the younger brother of Romeo Krenel, the former coach of the Cleveland Browns and Kansas City Chiefs. Number 4, Chris Peluso. Broadway actor Chris Peluso, best known for his work in productions such as Mamma Mia and Wicked, died on Wednesday, August 15, 2023, aged 40. The cause of death was not revealed. His sudden death came a year after he announced he would be retiring from acting to pursue treatment for a schizoaffective disorder. He played Sky in the 2008 Broadway production of Mamma Mia, also starred and covered the role of Fierro in the touring company of Wicked, and starred in off-Broadway's The Glorious Ones. In London's West End, he appeared in the revival of Miss Saigon opposite Eva Nablusada before the show's transfer to Broadway, as well as The Woman in White, Death Takes a Holiday and Showboat. Peluso is survived by his wife, Jessica Gomez, their daughter Aria Lee Gomez Peluso, and their son Kyle Yen Gomez Peluso. 
Number 5, Bill Vukovic II. American pilot William John Vukovic II on August 20, 2023, aged 79. Vukovic was a driver in the championship car division of the USAC and CART series and was named Rookie of the Year at the 1968 Indianapolis 500 as a result of his seventh-place finish. He competed in the 1965-1982 seasons with a total of 158 career starts, including the Indianapolis 500 in 1968-1977, 1979-1980. He has finished in the top 10 85 times, with a win in 1973 at Michigan. His best finish at the Indianapolis 500 came in 1973, where he finished second in an event marred by tragedy and shortened by rain. Bill Vukovic II was the son of two-time Indianapolis 500 champion Bill Vukovic and the father of Billy Vukovic III, both of whom were killed in racing accidents. Well friends, our video has come to an end, and if you like the content, leave your likes and comments, this motivates us a lot to continue this work.